In this video, we are going to see how to create Facebook page post from Google Forms. So here I want every time a new response has been received through Google Forms submission, then with the data received, I want to create a page post on Facebook. For this, I'll be integrating the two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. So here, my trigger application will be Google Forms and my action application will be Facebook pages. Now, how you can do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect. Here we have reached a landing page. Now, since I'm an existing user, I'm going to click on sign in. If you are a new user, you can sign up. It is not going to take more than two minutes. Here you can see we have reached all applications page and these are the various products of Pabli. We are going to click on access now for Pabli Connect. So as we do that, here we have reached a dashboard and on the right hand side, we can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now, what is my objective here? I want to create a Facebook page post from Google Forms. So let's say that I want to post the details of all the events that are about to happen that I'm organizing. And I want that every time the details are received through Google form submission, then it should be automatically posted to Facebook page. Let's click on create. As we do that here, we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger. Another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the response of your trigger application. Now, as per this integration, my trigger application here will be Google Forms. So let's click on this and the trigger event will be new response received. Now, the trigger event is the event that is going to make this workflow run here. I'm going to copy this. Now we have to follow the following steps. So this is the help desk given. Please read this carefully. Let me show you what exactly you have to do. So this here is my Google Forms account. And here I already have created a form event registration form. You can also create a new form. Now here you can see these are the fields event registration. This is the name. Then here you can add the event name, event details, city, country, start date, end date and event link. Now what we have to do is First of all, we have to go to the last step and here you can see this required button. So you have to toggle this towards the right so that this can be turned on. I have already done that. Then go to responses, click on the three dots here, select destination for response. And here we have got two options. Now you can get the responses and add the details in a new sheet or you can select an existing spreadsheet. So here I'm going to create a new spreadsheet. Let's click on create. So you can see it is getting linked to the spreadsheet and it has been linked now. So let's view the same in sheets. Now this particular sheet contains all the fields that were there in the form, including timestamp, which is going to register the date and time of the response. Now here I'm going to quickly format this a little so that this is easily visible to you. And once this is done, we are going to preview the form. So let's fill in the details. Let's say the name of the event is demo event, then the details. So I'm just going to write demo description. Then here we have the city. Let's say it is random city. Then we have the country. So I'm going to write random country. Then the start date of this event is 10th of June. What is the end date? So it is again 10th of June. Now here we have to enter the event link. So from event right, I have just created an event. This is just a mock event. I'm going to copy this link and then I'm going to take you back to the form and here I'm going to paste the link. Now I'm going to click on submit. As I do that here, we can see that my response has been recorded. So now I'm going to take you back to the Google sheet that was there. And yes, here you can see that our response has been added here. So let me just quickly wrap this. Okay. So once this is done, now I'm going to connect this Google sheet with Pabli Connect. To do so, we are going to go to extensions, go to add-ons, get add-ons. And here you can see Google Workspace Marketplace. We are going to look for Pabli Connect webhooks here. Let's click on this. And you can see that this particular application has already been installed on my system. So what you have to do is first install it. 
then close the window and do not forget to refresh the page. This is absolutely important. And once you have refreshed this, then we are going to take you back to extensions and here you would be able to see Pabbly Connect webhooks. Let's go to initial setup. And here we can see that the system has already selected the sheet. Now here we have to paste this webhook URL that we have received. So I'm going to copy this, go here and paste this webhook URL. Then the trigger column. Now the trigger column is the final data column where the data is added. And in this particular sheet, our final data column is H. So I'm going to mention H here. Let's click on submit. So here we can see that the setup is configured successfully. Now I'm going to click on send test. As I do that, here we can see that the test data has been sent successfully. Taking you back to Pabli Connect, here we can see we have received the response. Now I want that every time a form has been submitted, then we should receive the response. And to make sure that happens, what we have to do is we have to go back to extensions, Pabli Connect webhooks, and here you can see send on event. Just click on this. And as you would do that, you would be able to see a tick mark right in front. So this ensures that all the events are sent to Pabli Connect. Now I'm going to Pabli Connect. And yes, here we can see this here is the trigger column, the timestamp, start date. Then this here is the name of the spreadsheet, ID, sheet name, sheet ID. Then we have the row index, event name, event length, details, end date, country, city. So I've received this information. Now what is my objective? I want to create a Facebook page post. So here my action application will be Facebook pages. So let's click on this. And the action event here would be to create page post. Let's click on connect. Here, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Facebook pages account. So I'm going to click on add new connection, connect with Facebook pages. So here you can see that it is saying you have previously linked Pabli Connect to Facebook. Now, would you like to continue with your previous settings? So I'm going to continue as my previous account. And here we can see that the authorization has been successful. Now here we have to mention the page message and link URL. Before I do that, let me take you to my Facebook account. And here I'm going to go to home. Now on the right hand side, you can see the different pages that I already have created here. So we have got three pages, Pabli, test page and integration page. So here I'm going to switch to Pabli page. Let's click on switch. Okay, so once this is done, now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. Here I'm going to select Pabli. Now what is the message? So here I'm going to write new event alert. Okay, now I'm going to add details. So event name. So what is the event name? For this, I'm going to map the information how. You can see the previous step here. Let's click on this. And as I take you down, this here is the event name. Now the description. So again, I'm going to map it. Let's go here and take you down. This here is the description. Then we have the start date. And here I'm going to click on this. This here is the start date. Then we need the end date. So again, let's go down. And here is the end date location so I'm going to mention the city here so this here is the city comma country so I'm going to again take you down this here is the country and now I'm going to write regards so the method with which I have added the information here is known as mapping and it is important so that every time the workflow runs it can take the new data into consideration now, had I returned the same information manually, then even when my workflow was running for the nth time, it wouldn't have taken the new data. It would have taken the same old data. To avoid that, we map the information. Now, here we have to add the link URL. So, I'm going to click on this, go to step one. And this here is the event link. Let's click on save and send test request. And here we have received the response. Now, I'm going to take you back to my Facebook page. And here I'm going to quickly refresh this page and you can see that I have received the information new event alert these are the details and this here is just a demo page so this means that our integration is a success but we also need to check the same in real time so I'm going to take you back to Google Forms submit another response and let's say this time the event name is test event then we have the details test details 
Then we have the city. So let's say this is Mumbai. Then we have the country, India. Okay, then we have the start date. Let's say it is 11th and the end date is 12th. And then we have the event link. So I'm just going to paste the same link here and copy this link. Go here and paste. Let's click on submit. So our form has been submitted. Now I'm going to take you to Facebook and here I'm going to refresh this page. Okay. So once this is done here, you can see we have received another response, which means that our integration is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have done. So here our trigger application is Google Forms where the event is new response received and our action application is Facebook pages where the event is to create page post. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.